The sonic reverse is exactly what the name implies. It is the sonic done in the reverse motion. The sonic reverse looks like this. The normal sonic starts in a finger slot and either pressure is applied using the thumb flap or can just be swung around. And the sonic reverse follows the same pattern in that it starts between two fingers, it swings behind a finger, in this case the middle finger, and completes one rotation in a lower slot. So again, the sonic reverse looks like that. It can also be done with other fingers. It does not have to be in just, it does not have to start in just the first slot. It can start in uh, between the middle and ring finger, also known as fingers two and three, and can be done so that the pen lands or ends in slot three four, or between the middle and the pinky finger. Some uh, things to consider when you're doing this trick. You should know the basic principles of the song first. That would be the most helpful to understand where the pen moves in this trick. Um, it does one revolution, so keep that in mind. If you're if you realize that your pen's only going half the way around, or so, or maybe more one and a half, or something like that, then you know you're not doing this correctly. But study the way that you do the sonic. It spins behind a finger. And then goes into the slot above it. And the sonic reverse. Um, it's done like that. From uh, two, between two fingers to the lower slot. Keep in mind that most Actually, all of the movement has to be done without using any pressure from any other spots. Um, what I mean by that is, when you did the sonic, I taught you that you can use the thumb flop to prior pressure to swing it over. Swing it over. Or um, you can also do the sonic without using pressure from the thumb flop, just your fingers. Um, we're going to do that for the sonic reverse, seeing as there's no real good place to hold it. I guess you could move your thumb out and go like this and then use it. Uh, the force to push it over, but personally, I just go like that. Um, it really would help if you learn the charge reverse motion. I can't do the whole, I can't do, I can barely do charge reverse, but you just want to get the motion right, which is holding it like so. And then what I do, I push down with my index finger, and then I also kind of swing my hand out, so. It goes like this, so I don't drop it, and then catch it. So your hand doesn't necessarily have to move, but if you want in the beginning, you want to practice. That's fine. You can move your hand a little bit to get to uh, swing the pen around in a better way. Um, but charge, ver uh, not charge, sonic reverse. It's just basically the opposite of the sonic. If you need any more help, uh, feel free to comment or visit the Universal Pennsylvania Board's website.